I took a five week break from YouTube and so much has changed. In this video, my goal is to share with you the reasons why I decided to take that break, but I'm also going to be showing you my YouTube analytics so that you can see how taking a break can affect your YouTube channel. So if you're a YouTuber or if you are looking to start a channel, I think this video will offer to you some amazing insights. Hey, if you're new here, hey, 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 if you are coming back, my name is Shanice and my purpose is to ensure that online moneymakers are able to one, maximize their presence and two, increase their sales. And this video is all about my five week break from this YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It has been five weeks since I've sat in front of a camera. I did absolutely no filming or even video planning throughout that time. I really wanted to take that time for me. So I did not plan or prep any content, but I did miss you guys here on this channel. The entire time I was away, it was on my mind to like make a pose or reply to comments, but I chose not to do any of that. So over the next few days, I plan to go through and reply to comments. So my apologies if I had not responded to you. I am going to try to respond to as many comments as possible over the next couple of days. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say hello there. We are at 11,000 subscribers. Are you kidding me? When I took a break, we had not gotten to 11K as yet. And I actually didn't know if my channel would keep growing while I was away. I don't know if I thought everything would just stop overnight. I don't know what I was thinking, but I cannot believe it. We are over 11K, probably like 11.2. So hello to the four, 500 of you who joined my channel. I'm super happy and super blessed to have you here. And I'm going to keep creating content, hopefully content that you all continue to enjoy. All right, so here's how this video is going to work. I'm going to start off with a quick backstory so you can understand just how long I've been running this channel and kind of my thoughts on it. Then we are going to talk about some of the reasons why I decided to take a break from this YouTube channel. Then the most important part, not really, <laughs> we are going to hop into my analytics so that you can see how taking five weeks off of this channel has actually positively impacted it. And I'm really surprised by that. So let's go ahead and dive in. In 2021, I started publishing books on Amazon KDP and I actually decided to start this YouTube channel along the same time. So a couple of my first videos were just me unboxing books that I had made on Amazon KDP and I was essentially tracking my KDP journey. In 2021, I only posted eight videos, which means that I was not taking this YouTube channel seriously. It was just something that, hey, I'm sitting down in front of the camera and I'm recording a video. For some reason, I took a long break off of this YouTube channel all of like 2022. I think I was probably posting shorts or just like reposting TikTok videos, but then and in 2023, in January, I saw something happening with my books on Amazon KDP and I made a video on it and that video actually did well. I think that video is sitting at about 20,000 views right now. Fast forward to April of 2023, I filmed a video sharing how much money I had made from my best-selling book on Amazon KDP, and that video pretty much kick-started my channel. I believe that before that video, I had maybe had just a little over a thousand subscribers, maybe, but I definitely did not have the 4,000 watch hours. Now, later on in April, something else happened where Amazon KDP suspended my account. And of course, I came back to this channel and I made a video on it. That video is currently sitting at 140K, which is crazy. And that video is actually what helped me to get monetized. And so I didn't actually start making money on this YouTube channel until May of 2023. Now, I will say that my story is not everyone's story. I know for a lot of people, you spend a lot of time on YouTube. A lot of people are making consistent videos and putting out two, three videos a week for years before actually getting monetization. However, for me, it was kind of like divine timing. So I had something happening with Amazon KDP. I then chose to share my story or what I called my testimony here on this channel. And that actually led to me getting monetized. And so in my opinion, it was 
was a swift process moving from making a couple of videos to monetization simply because I wasn't taking this YouTube channel seriously at all. I was just sharing my story. I feel like my first check was a little bit over $500. I'm going to show it to you guys in a second, but I feel like it was over $500. And I was like, wait a second, I can make $500 from YouTube. And so at, in that moment, I started to take the channel seriously and I started to post videos maybe like once every two weeks. Definitely wasn't anything, you know, like super consistent. Now, fast forward to January of 2024. By this point, I had been making videos maybe like once every two weeks or so. But in January of 2024, I quit my full-time teaching job. I do have videos on this if you want to check it out. But after quitting my full-time teaching job, I basically didn't have, I didn't have any work. So I then decided to test out going full-time on YouTube. And so I went full-time posting three videos every single week on this YouTube channel. And I've been posting three videos every single week on this YouTube channel since February of 2024 until the end of April of 2024 when I was completely burnt out and needed to take the entire month of May off. And so that's basically the history of my channel. And now we're going to talk a bit about why I decided to take a break, which, you know, if you're still watching this, you probably already have an idea, but I was burnt out. So I quit my full-time teaching job January 31st. That was my last day or the 30th whatever it was my last day. <laughs> and then I immediately went into going ham on this YouTube channel, which was not my plan. So after quitting my job, I knew I was burnt out. However, instead of taking a break, so like taking the month of February off and then kind of easing my way into this YouTube channel or easing my way into full-time entrepreneurship, I literally decided to just go ham. And that was against my plan because my plan was actually to find another job. It is June of 2024 and I still have not found a job. I've just been so blessed that this YouTube channel as well as my little side hustle that I do selling my digital products and things of that nature. I've been so blessed that it has been able to help me pay my mortgage. So what I make, you know, from YouTube and my business is enough to cover my portion of the mortgage payment, which is a good deal. And so I've been basically able to like sustain myself without tapping heavy into my savings. I only need to tap into my savings for food and other bills, but my roof has been covered. And so, and so I wasn't really in a rush to find a job and I had the time to test out and see, you know, just how far this YouTube channel could actually go. To my surprise, it wasn't really working the way that I thought. I was thinking that if I spent more time on YouTube, if I had posted three videos a week, then my channel would start making more income and I could actually continue to do this full time. However, after a couple months of doing it and you know, I don't care if you guys come at me in the comments for just being delusional, but my delusional self thought that the channel would have picked up a lot more than it did when in reality it started to decline. So I remember that there were times when I was making like consistent $500 a month, but then I went full time on YouTube and now I was only making about, you know, like $300 a month. And it was kind of getting to a point where I was like, Shanice, what are you doing? And I was starting to have regrets. I was starting to feel sad. I didn't want to film content. I was spending tons of hours looking at my analytics, comparing myself to other people and other channels and comparing my videos to other channels. And that just really started to mess with me to the point that I just didn't even want to put out any content on this YouTube channel anymore. And I just kind of felt like all of my work was basically going to waste. Now, of course, again, I know I'm being delusional and I should not have expected that just because I started putting in more time mean that the results were going to immediately show up, right? So that's just not how things work, but that's what happened. And I'm just telling y'all the truth. I'm just telling you my story. So, <laughs> so that's what happened. That's how I was feeling. And I didn't want to continue feeling like that. And I know that some of the things I was feeling was a direct result of the burnout. So feeling anxiety, especially around the channel, just feeling sad about just everything, just feeling like everything is on top of me. A lot of those things, you know, is a result of burnout. So it's probably not necessarily that, you know, this channel, 
kind of was a big stressor in my life is it was probably just that I felt so burnt out or I was so burnt out that the channel felt like a stressor, my business felt like a stressor, just life in general felt like a stressor. And I tried to push through those feelings, but instead of getting to a place where I just completely crashed, I decided to, hey, step back, take a break, relax, breathe, and try new things. And so for the entire month of May, that's basically what I did. I did whatever I wanted to do. So if I woke up and I felt like writing a blog article, I wrote it. If I woke up and I felt like making a video for social media, I did it. If I got up and I thought about the YouTube channel, I allowed myself to think about it, but I didn't actually work on the YouTube channel. That was my only boundary I wanna say is my boundary was absolutely no work on the YouTube channel. I can work on whatever else I wanted to work on, but no work on the YouTube channel was like the only boundary that I had. And so I had a great month. I feel rested, I feel creative again. I feel ready to like take this channel and see where the next couple of months takes us. And I'm also ready to look for a job. So if you're hiring or if you know anyone who's hiring, <laughs> Your girl is looking for a job, okay? I am ready to look for a job. And, and so now we're actually moving into some of the good things that came out of taking this break. And so one of the good things that came out of taking this break is the realization that although I love being an entrepreneur, I'm not in the stage of my life right now where I want to be a full-time entrepreneur. And that is because I am very much still struggling with simple things of discipline. And I didn't know that until I took a break from this YouTube channel. So my lack of discipline was what allowed me to work 12 hours a day on this channel and not see the results, right? So I call it being determined when in reality, it's a lack of discipline. And so because I don't have certain structures in place in my life and I now need to create those structures, it really makes it hard to be a full-time entrepreneur because what happens is I'm only able to operate along two spectrums, work, 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 and neglect myself or take care of myself and not work, 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 work. Now, an issue that can arise here is the fact that the work is directly tied to my need to pay my bills, which is survival. But what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna work, 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 because I know that I need to pay the bills, the bills, the bills. And for me and where I am in my life and my journey right now, I just can't have that. Instead, what I need is a job that is going to help me to learn skills, but also pay the bills. And then I need a creative outlet, which is what this channel was. And I hope that it can continue to be right. So my businesses have always been my creative outlet. It's just like a way for me to ease some of the stress. It's a way for me to get lost in creating something, right? That's always been how my business was. Now taking that and making it into my full-time job brought in a lot of anxiety. Again, keeping me in the state of burnout because I cannot truly rest because my mind is always thinking about the next video. My mind is always thinking about how poor that last video did, even though I spent eight hours working on it. And so taking the break truly helped me to see that I, what I really need is to find a good full-time job. And let's not forget about the fact that, and this is a note for me, y'all, I have two master's degrees. Okay, one, two. I need to put them, I need to put those degrees to work. I need a job. I need a job. I need a job. I need a job. Okay. <laughs> this is me convincing myself because don't get me wrong. Full-time entrepreneurship is fun, but it's not fun if you realize that you're not disciplined like me. Y'all, it is 12.07 p.m. that I'm filming this video. 12.07 p.m. When do I plan to put this video up? Today. That's what lack of discipline gets you. And so over the last month and moving forward, I've really been trying to work hard at being more disciplined. And so that is something I would say is that if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, you need to be disciplined you need to be disciplined. And so for me, discipline was never something that was really instilled when I was a child. Like I didn't grow up with a lot of structure and 
now that I'm an adult, I can see how structure is needed. And so I've been trying to put a lot of structure in my life and in my business and it's just not working out the way that I, I thought it would, but that's okay. But yeah, I feel like I've talked a lot, you guys. So let's go ahead and actually like hop into the analytics so that you can see how taking the break impacted my channel in terms of the numbers now that we talked about how it impacted my mental health so <laughs> let's get into the numbers all right so if you didn't know this is my channel shanice on biz i had a name change so if you're you know if you were here when it was called shanice ck designs and now you're like oh what's this it's now called shanice on biz and as y'all can see we are at 11.2k subscribers okay don't play so let's go over to my channel analytics and we're going to start off in April so that we can have one month of comparison. Now, mind you, I worked really, really hard in April and I'm going to also show you guys like how many videos I put out and things like that. So this is April. So in April, my videos were watched 20,528 times. Now that's a whole lot. Now let's look at this a little closer here so we can see that 20.5k views my watch time is 1.2k and i gained 330 subscribers in april now let's look at how many videos i put out a lot right so this indicates all of these indicates when videos were uploaded to my channel so on april 1st i had two videos so this was a video and a live i mean on april 2nd sorry two videos and a live and then i had two more videos and a live. So that's four videos, five. So in April, I put out 18 pieces of content, 18, one, eight. Okay. 18 pieces of content. And that resulted in me earning $293 and 43 cents. So for all that hard work, I made $293 and 43 cents. And that's kind of when I was like, you know what? Yeah, I kind of need to take a break from this channel because <laughs> that was a lot, okay? That was a lot. So let's compare this to May, which is the month that I posted zero videos, zero videos. All right, so this is May. And again, in May, I posted zero videos, absolutely no videos posted in May. So my channel got 13,117 views throughout the month of May. This looked like 13.1K, 1K watch hours, 299 subscribers, right? So almost 300 subscribers short of 41 compared to the last month, okay? So everything here we can see went down my views went down my watch hours went down and my subscribers went down however the money went up <laughs> the money went up and so when i saw that and so when i logged in and i saw that even though everything else went down, the money went up, that told me that I was actually working harder than I needed to on this channel. Because my goal when I went full-time back in February was to post evergreen videos. Now, evergreen videos are videos that people watch at any point throughout the year, right? So take, for instance, a video on how to start a stationary business. It's not tied to a specific season, it's not tied to a specific year, and it's not tied to a specific type of viewer, right? So as long as somebody, well, it is, but as long as somebody is looking to start a stationary business, that is a video that they can watch, right? If I had said something like how to design Christmas coloring books, perhaps people weren't going to watch that video until it's like close to Christmas time or, or unless it's, you know, time when Christmas is like trending. So you can also make videos that are tied to a specific year, right? So current event type videos. So if you're, if I was making videos about TikTok ban, right? 
after a while, people are not going to continue watching videos on TikTok being banned. However, people will continue year after year to watch videos on how to start a business or how to start a YouTube channel or how to start Amazon KDP. So my goal was to create evergreen videos. And so what I realized taking a month off was that it worked because those evergreen videos are the videos that the algorithm suddenly decided to take a look at and start pushing. And so that's actually what I, in my opinion, what kind of led to that increase in income because I don't have any other way to explain it. <laughs> so if you have a way to explain it, go ahead and let me know. And so I think moving forward, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to still post videos consistently, but I'm definitely not going to go back to posting three videos a week because in the moment, I'm not going to see the fruit of that, but instead I'm going to feel the effects on my body. And so what I've decided is to try to post two videos a week moving forward. But if I can't post two, at least I'll post one, but I'm definitely going to continue getting back into the consistency of posting videos. This just helped me to realize that I didn't need to be posting three videos a week, sometimes even like four videos a week. If, if I went live, that's like four videos. This really made me realize that I didn't need to do that. I just need to continue with the topics. So the evergreen topics. And then from that, the views will come over time and the money will come over time. And so that's my takeaway from this whole thing. Now that is pretty much it for this video. That's all I have to share. <laughs> um, and so I hope that you found it helpful. And I hope that if you've been wondering, should I take a break from my YouTube channel? I would encourage you to go ahead and take a break. Depending on the type of videos that you've been creating, your channel can either do, you know, similar to mine where your money goes up. But if you have not been creating evergreen videos and chances are you're not going to see this impact, right? And so this is also something to say, perhaps you can try thinking about evergreen topics that you can incorporate into your YouTube content plan. And hopefully that will help you to see the results that you are looking for. Now, if you made it here, I want to say thank you for making it this far in the video. I also do want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, please like this video and also share it so other people are able to find it. And then I do make content on self-publishing, print on demand, as well as just starting a business or a stationary business as a whole. And so if you want to check out some additional videos on my channel, I'm going to link a couple here that you can check out. Until next time, my name is Shanice and all the best as you continue to design your dream life and business. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.